Greetings families, welcome back. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If this is your first time, my name is Mamri and you are very welcome. This video is not one of my exciting ones, but we still need to share it for people to know what is going on in the Sahara. Niger is also fighting hard, just like Mali and Burkina Faso. They fight together, sometimes they fight separately. This is what they have to share with us. This is what happened between ending of September and October. Families, please listen. I'll be back. Thank you for your time. Page provides an update on interventions by the Defense and Security Forces in Niger, with several actions carried out as part of their mission to secure the territory between October 10th and 12, 2024. On the right bank of the Niger River, in the Tilaberi region, a Joint Defense and Security Force patrol returning from an administrative liaison mission in Niame near Ilafari intercepted two individuals suspected of being terrorist spotters. One of them was in possession of a cell phone containing compromising images, reinforcing suspicions of their involvement in criminal activities. Just as they were about to be arrested, the patrol's convoy was targeted by an explosive device. The explosion caused injuries to four soldiers and a civilian accompanying the convoy as part of Operation Chara in the Tawa region. On Thursday, October 11th, at around 6 a.m., a Defense and Security Forces patrol tasked with securing the pipeline works carried out a major operation against armed bandits in the Bozaka region. The patrol caught two criminals red-handed convoying cattle. They had previously wanted to. The assailants, quickly supported by ambush reinforcements, opened fire on the security forces. However, thanks to the professionalism and responsiveness of the men involved, the threat was neutralized without any casualties or injuries to the ranks of the FDS. The operation resulted in the elimination of two armed criminals, the seizure of two Alaska 47 assault rifles, an automatic pistol, eight loaded magazines and a motorcycle. To facilitate their movement as part of the security operations carried out in the north of the country, the defense forces deployed in Madama intercepted a battery of heavy weapons carefully concealed in the luggage of passengers aboard white helix vehicles coming from Libya. The object in question? An apparent battery of a Type BM-21 multiple rocket launcher was cleverly hidden among the passengers' personal effects. The coin could be intended to supply a criminal network active in neighboring countries. The suspect was immediately apprehended and is currently in custody for investigation. Families, that's it for now. Thank you so much for your time. I don't like videos like this, but still have to share it because they want us to share it for people to know what is going on. That the fight continue and they are fighting hard to secure their territories. Who knows? Who knows? Hopefully it won't be long. So far as the people are getting it into their head that this fight is for all of us and not for uh, the leader, maybe, maybe it will be good. I heard the news about the Mali uh, president. I'll be back. I'll, I'll post it. I'll put it on the community tab. See you soon, my families. God bless you all.